Hello, my friends. It's Laura the Teach. Today's lesson, we're going to talk about how we can turn a short vowel into a long vowel simply by adding the silent E. Now, some teachers call it bossy E because it tells the vowel what to say. I've always called it silent E because sometimes an E can be at the end of a word and it doesn't make a vowel long, but it's usually silent if it's at the end of a word, no matter what. So instead of calling it bossy E, because it doesn't always tell a vowel what to do, I like to call it silent E. Now in this case, it could be a bossy E because it's going to tell the vowel what to do. We have a short A, which says A, a short I, which says I, and a short A, which says again, A. If we look at these words and read them, this says m, ad, mad, b, it, bit, k, an, can. But if we add a silent E to the word, then the E says to that A, What's your name? And the A, instead of saying a, ah, says, my name is A. And then the E is quiet. So we never hear the E at the end of the word. So this word, instead of mad, becomes m-aid, made. Mad, made. Here we have b it. But if we put silent E on the end, the E says to the I, What's your name? And the I says, my name is I. So the E is quiet. So instead of bit, we have b -ite, bite. And on the bottom here, we had can. But if we add silent E, the E says to the A, Psst, what's your name? And the A says, my name is A. And the E is quiet. So instead of can, we have Ain, cane, made, bite, cane. Let's try some more. This is fun. So we have three words here. We have a short U that says a, uh, a short I that says I, and another short I that says I. So we have k -ut, cut, f in. Thin and id, hid. But now we're going to add our silent E. And the E says to the U, what's your name? And the U says, my name is U. And the E's quiet. So now instead of cut, we have k -oot, cute. And instead of fin, we have fine. Because the E said to the I, what's your name? Ein, fine. And instead of hid, the E says to the I, what's your name? And the I says, my name is I. And the E is quiet. So we have I'd, hide. So in review, cute, fine, hide. Let's try some more. This is so much fun. So here we have a short O that says ah, a short I, I, and another short O, ah. So hop, hop, k it, kit, n -ot, not. So now we're going to add the silent E. Instead of hop, the E says to the O, Psst, what's your name? And the O says, my name is O. So now we have hope, hope. In kit, the E says to the I, what's your name? And the I says, my name is I, and the E's quiet. So instead of kit, we have kite, kite. And instead of not, the E says to the O, what's your name? The O says, my name is O. So we have n -ote, note. Wonderful. Let's try one more sheet. So here 
we have pull a blend and short A, A, plan. Here we have short O, A, R, AB. And here we have a short U, A, K, A, B, Cub. So we're going to add our silent E. And instead of plan, the E says to the A, what's your name? And the A says, my name is A. So it becomes plain, plain. And it says to the O, what's your name? The O says, my name is O. The E is quiet. So instead of Rob, we have Rob, robe. And in cub, we have the E says to the U, what's your name? And the U says, my name is U. And the E is quiet. So now instead of cub, we have cube, cube. Plain, robe, cube. Great job. Now it doesn't work on all short vowel words, but it works on lots of those short vowel words. So here's a challenge. Look for some words that might fit this rule. Try adding a silent E to see if you can make up new words. It's a great way when you start writing. Wonderful job today. See you later.